All right, today we're going to be reviewing the Redline Easy 100 powder coating gun. There's a Redline Easy 50 as well, and the primary difference between the two is this is a full 100 kV capable. So when you jump up to even a higher end uh, equipment like a Wagner Sprint unit, they have 100 kVs, but they also have independent control of kVs and microamps. This unit allows you to control only kV, but the extra power, the higher kV setting, is particularly important if you're going to be doing multiple coats and don't want to run into the issues with back ionization. Uh, that occurs because you, as you dry, apply each subsequent coat, you should be able to reduce the KV or you should reduce KV and that helps to deal with uh, back ionization issues. So the 100 KV unit here, the Redline Easy 100 over the 50, will allow you to apply multiple coats a little more effectively. Plus the 100 KVs will allow for better wrap so that helps keep your efficient transfer efficiency a little higher and it'll keep your powder waste down. Gun is a little more expensive. It's about $599 versus the $374 for the Easy 50. It's also a gravity feed, as you see. Uh, it does have controls for air to powder ratio mix, and then it has your KV setting on the back. Uh, it does come with a power adapter for the US, and then it's also capable of overseas standards. You get a few nozzles in the bag uh, for a variety of spray pattern types, depending on what you're doing. Uh, so it comes relative, ready to spray about any size pattern and uh, shape that you would need it to. Uh, and the extra cup's a nice feature, but the cups can be purchased anyway for either gun. We'll go ahead and show you how it performs. All right, so I'll, I'm gonna use the gun on a full 100 kVs. This is your kV adjustment. This is your air to powder mix adjustment. We'll go with full KVs so you can see the wrap. Uh, to compare the two, you can watch the Easy 50 video uh, and just see the difference between the two. So you can see I'm hardly getting any overspray. That's because of the high wrap this uh, gun offers. The adjustment seems a little more, I, I like the gravity feed. It tends to be a little easier to adjust, I think. And so you can see at 100 kVs, you get very good wrap. You got hardly any waste. And then in corners where there's Faraday, you could drop kV and get in there appropriately. So the gun's pretty versatile and does a good job uh, for, for a price point that's slightly above the Easy 50, but is a step below some of your other higher, ex more expensive units, Wagner's or DEMA units, things like that. So it's a great option for a higher wrap, a little more versatility with multi-coat than a 50 kV powder coating gun, but still at a price that won't break the bank. So that's the Redline Easy 100. If you have any questions, you can leave them in the comments below. This is available on our online store.